Hello, welcome to Arman Animation. I'm Arman and in this video we will be looking at 5 spine portfolios of our fellow animators. Let's start right away. One thing that I can say for now is emotional state of the girl doesn't correspond to the posture. I mean, she holds close to her eyes, but she is like sleeping. And the bottom part, the head or the rope is moving too much compared to the overall animation. So the action should go right in the um, in front of her face. And this is the focus point, I think. And that would be the most active uh, movements there. Cool. Let's see the next one. It's great. I see no problems here. Let's see the other one. Uh, nice icons. I like them, especially this one, how you preserve the face anatomy. I would definitely break it, distort it, but it's super nicely done. One thing for all of them, I think I would add the looping of the this effect on the eyes. Let's see the other one. Very nice animations. I have no idea how you made um, particles. I assume in After Effects, otherwise it would take too much space in Atlas. And the blurring, I expect too. So what about Cage? I think it's good. It could be, I mean, it could be better uh, swinging physically, respecting the gravity, but um, it's super difficult to predict how it, it would uh, swing. So as long as there is a little 3D and the character has uh, overlapping animation, I mean, and uh, the second part of the chain, it's looking good. Let's see what we have here. Sleeping face. I think it's good. I see a little distortion on the chin, but it's, I, I don't think I would do better. Great to see parts separated. Maybe while he goes to sleep, the ears would not fall because they look pretty solid material and they would not like hang like that. I don't know, I just thought. And teeth are distorting also. But again, I, I would not do better, I think. Let's see what we have next. So many good animations. Well done. Wrists are moving too much, I think. It's like he's uh, showing like weapons, like, hey, look at them, look at them. But actually, the, what is important here to emphasize the look on his face, like the, the message he delivers from his face and not the weapons. Weapons are just secondary objects here and they should not take the priority. But right now they move with the nice CD and he actually moves them showing, hey, look at them. But other than that, it's great. Let's see more stuff. Mm. 
Mm, I think the IK on the arm would be nice. He's sliding on the forehead and his head very static. He would move with his head, um, having someone on, on the neck. It moves here a little bit, but it could do more like uncomfortable movement. Cool. Um, great 3D. I think a lot of people would love to see how you rigged it. And yeah, it's here. Yeah. yeah. I think a tutorial would be great. Other than that, maybe about uh, the smoothness of the movement. So everything is super smooth, but up and down, it just hits on the ground. It doesn't look smooth, the up and down movement. It just goes up, rotates and goes down. Great animation. Um, the balancing is not there. Too much action with the with the weapon or metal thing. And you can see that it rotates up up here but it would actually rotate uh, a little bit below there. Um, face is distorting and this motion, this one is out of balance for sure. I can't see which part she's pushing to go back. It just some other force pushes from the shoulder. It's not like controlled movement. And the arm moves at the same time. This also doesn't look believable. Let's see what we have next. Very good animations, really. And very different animations Portfolio for portfolio. Okay, sliding feet, I see. Um, once again, I would uh, move those uh, magic dusts from eyes in a looping movement. And the uh, looping movement also would affect the particles. Movements of the wings are not smooth, I believe, yeah, at the moment. Yeah, they, they look mechanical. Let's see. And the face, actually, um, he's, she is in relaxed pose. She's just standing there and staring at some object, but she's moving her head very um, rapidly. I mean, she's worried, super, she's scared, she's worried, but the character itself doesn't look uh, like that. She would be proudly, uh, elegantly standing there. And looking here and there, but but not this uh, quick with rapid motion. And again, we see uh, distortion on the neck, head. Let's see the last one. A great idol, very energetic and uh, represents the character, the face. I would see him doing these movements. These particles could be again animated, going up with fading out motions with the loop. Um, run could be a little bit better, but with background, etc. Et, et it, it does look good. But the arm is, is not moving smooth. 
and the feet are shooting behind like very quickly they they should be moving uh, smoothly all the time and even some portion they should move quick but it there should be not noticeable uh, shooting of the feed and it's super fast and there are uh, some issues here and from contact point it doesn't contact a straightened way it just um, fit the on the background is always like bent let me find that pose here so this one is good but let's see if i can pause this one is just stands here at this pose great let's see what we have here and that would be it for this artist nesip nesip can caracus let's check portfolio of juan montes we have characters here. Good. So I see feet sliding. Uh, animation is not that smooth. Pose maybe is good having this art. I mean, the legs already are in specific pose. Okay, let's see what we have here. I don't know, maybe for that game it's enough. Maybe characters are small. Because art itself is not drawn super nice. And I see here the cloth is uh, taking too much attention. It's it's not what should should be. The character it itself should have the attention, but not part of it. Um, I don't understand this movement. I expect it should be uh, taking damage. But uh, I don't see the foot at the end contacting the ground. It's just in the air, like moving here. But the sa same issues. I mean, the foot is on the ground. It's fine. But the animation is um, too modular. So I don't see one character fully doing something. I see some... Uh, movements, different movements, some of them are nice, some of them are uh, attractive, but uh, for example, this portion of the skirt is, is animating like it's separate uh, unit. Um, this movement is not understandable, she's casting something or hitting with... So the, the movement, the body should always be in movement. Even if it's slight, tiny movement, it should not uh, be static at any moment. Out of the balance and the physics of the body could be a little bit better. So we see that the arm stretches too forward. It could that there is a shoulder, shoulder would go a, a little bit lower for that and that would give a uh, longer arm for you and yeah the the body itself should go and quick uh, do a quick movement it's like doing slow movement but the arm itself doing the main thing and the shield itself is moving while it would stay um relatively static So the pose is good, the final pose is good, but the uh, movement is not translating, uh, motion is not translating uh, well. Sliding character. And here in the idol I see that arm is doing uh, quick movements is getting attention unnecessary attention the character itself should get attention in idols most of the time you need to get rid of all um, separate parts that take too much attention so everything should be in um, one level I'm, I'm yes so at least um, 
no separate part should take uh, attention priority cool we have spider very nice character mm -hmm. I see feet are sliding somewhere, but I think it's it's just he missed them. Um, the rig itself, I, I don't think the rig would allow you to easily uh, move them. I would do it um, putting a bone here that looks here and connecting Ike. Let me do it in different color. So the Ike would be coming from this let's just region point of the bones here and here and this would be the end and the um, target i would place inside the red bone so in this manner i would uh, have this rotation of the red bone and that would help me to avoid uh, static movements as such this here Okay, let's see the animation. Um, the back side, it would remain uh, static most of the time. I, you know, I mean, here it's it's nice to see it moving because character is intentionally moving it to, to dance, to show, to scare. But here it would not move that much because it's heavy, there is inertia and any quick movements would not um, move it that easily so character needs to move a lot with the front body to make uh, some movement at the back and but right now it moves like it's empty it's hollow it's very uh, lightweight and it's uh, here i can see it doesn't move smooth it uh, rotates and then stops abruptly you can see that here it moves the feet in in the face uh, blocking some blows and moves the feet below in front but the balance itself doesn't change that much so actually it he would um, relocate his feet differently to maintain the balance so those feet let me try to draw on it the back feet would m maybe go back and the front feet would come here to maintain the whole balance the character itself is not balanced as initially drawn but at least this back leg could go a little bit back to to support the weight right now it doesn't move the character would fall definitely so especially if you get a force in front of you that would put you back and you need to put some legs behind you to to catch the body falling the timing could be better here too many frames when he moves forward one or two frames would be enough and um, you could uh, uh, leave him here he fastly dashes hits um, absorbs damage, absorbs the energy like bouncing a little bit there with that nice posture and then he jumps back so let me see so this pose could be uh, stayed here in front a little bit just he pushes, he bounces a little bit here and with the shield, with the body to, to show that he absorbed that energy as well because the enemy is not only the one who takes it, the, the blow, he also takes the energy, absorbs it. What we have here, I do. I think it's too synchronized. I love the smoke VFX, I really like it. But it needs to be a little bit synchronized, desynchronized. Mm, I see some feet sliding again. Um, I don't know, maybe it's only for me, but uh, feet always need to be uh, realistic on the ground, 
on the taking the balance of the character. Uh, I don't mean they need to be static. Don't get me wrong. They need to be very uh, believable. So whenever character wants to move forward, he goes back to prepare himself and maybe puts the one of his feet back to hold him and then moves forward. As uh, here, you can see he goes back, he puts one feet there. But in this example, it would be great if you move the other leg, because right now he stands on a very tiny point and that's not good for balancing the whole character, especially this heavy. So the other foot should go back and go back, I, I guess, a lot. So something along these lines. Everything looks mechanical and uh, easy to move. This character would not that easy to move itself. I don't see inertia here, especially in this animation when it falls quickly on the ground. Uh, it, he should uh, um, shake a little bit here from the impact and then stay there for a while just to get energy to drag him back to the pose. So this, especially for this character, it really needs some showing inertia. I see some character behind him. Um, it creates noise. Here, when the character gets one of uh, the minions, only arm moves. Would be nice to see everything um, moving correspondingly. In all animation, belly is moving a little bit weird. <clears throat> it's bouncing uh, strangely. I don't know what what is its anatomy, but it's doing weird movements. Um, the arm hits the belly. It's not that big impact to move the whole uh, chair this much. Okay, let's see what we have here. I love how he snaps with fingers. It's not that easy to achieve that timing and uh, make it believable, but it's great. And the pot actually hits good. Maybe the path of its movement would be uh, nice if you make a curvy, because it's in the air and moving with straight lines, it's very difficult for uh, flying characters. So yeah, moving um, with eight light like shape would be Like he goes back, he hits it and comes back Some along these uh, lines. Let's see what we have from Mr. Half Animate. This arm is uh, too attractive. It, it should not take that much attention. And it moves a um, mechanical way, robotic. I think everything moves that way, but this arm is mostly noticeable. I see that, uh, I feel that your animation don't have easing or very light easings. Maybe this character, uh, it's okay for this character, but it's uh, not smooth. Uh, I love how you hit with the feet that gives some character to uh, this character, some personality. But the character is not well balanced, balanced on the feet. I love the 3D of the face. 
and when it hits uh, puts the stuff on the ground the first contact would be like this so he reaches with this tip and then moves it here while the tip uh, rotates the other way so at the end tip, uh, the stuff would be this in your way it already hits um, rotated yeah everything looks good really vfx are super yeah i love them and they make the character richer Our foot is going forward and then quickly slides back to hold the balance. I love this animation. There are parts that uh, move unnecessarily, like the necklace is sliding. It's, it doesn't seem that it's on the is hanging there, and the head itself again is moving up and down. It's like uh, uh, put there, uh, like a external object. Timing is great, I think maybe you could pause a little bit when when the pause when the attack ends but it, it depends on the game maybe you don't have that time there um, in this animation it, it is readable it is good but it's like done it's not finished it's not polished so a lot of pauses working there and VFX is working, but it's like interpolation is uh, never checked. So just pauses and timing and yeah. Good job with flipping the head and balance is not there. I see the body moves too back and it's not there. And when it gets the heat, uh, first goes this part back and arm remains would stretch and uh, stuff would be still there and only the at the end come follow the whole body we in your example and it, it actually rotates like this and then follows it in your example i see it it goes the same simultaneously with the body that's not what happens when when you get um, force impact in your chest. Great. And last portfolio. We have cartoonish characters, which look nice. They actually doesn't look something that should be done in spine to me. It's not that easy to animate random characters and scenes in spine because you have to imitate the camera movement sometimes this is also insane if it's done in spine it's not that easy to work with objects and imitating perspective and camera I would love to see more um, animations, like spine related animations, so I can say something. I think those animations just serve the purpose. Great, thank you very much. Expect a rigging video very soon. Bye guys.